6.2 foot pounds. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris. Today we're going to check out the Cobalt XTR brushless quarter inch hex impact driver. This thing is said to produce 2,400 inch pounds of torque, which means we might be able to break away a 200, 250, or even a 300 foot pound Titan fastener, as well as we're also going to test out very briefly the Bosch GDX 18 V also known as the Bosch freak, which is said to put out around 1800 inch pounds of torque. This one has the half inch anvil already attached to it, but you can see in there, it's got that quarter inch hex. We're going to see how that performs, but mostly we're going to focus on that cobalt brushless XTR and see if that's one of our top performing high torque quarter inch hex impacts. Now, before we test the cobalt XTR, if you missed some of the other videos, they'll be linked up above in the cards where we tested out the three H impact wrench against the Milwaukee Fuel Stubby over there. That was quite a shootout. So check out that link up above in the cards as well as down below in the description. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you love tool testing, as well as make sure you hit that subscribe button. So let's get to testing the Cobalt XTR. So here you can see we have the Bosch GDX 18V, which is also known as the Bosch Freak. This is said to put out roughly around 1800 inch pounds of torque. We're gonna see just how this performs, and then we can compare it to the Cobalt. So we ran that for roughly around five seconds. We'll go ahead and see how much torque output it takes to remove that fastener. There you can see we are roughly at 149.7 foot pounds of torque. So today, are we not only gonna check out the Cobalt XTR quarter inch hex impact, we're also gonna test the difference between a two amp hour and a four amp hour battery. People always say that one of these are stronger than the other. Well, I don't really think that's true, but we're gonna find out. So we're gonna see how much torque output is on the two amp hour battery. We're gonna go ahead and run this down and see how much torque it takes to take off that fastener when using the two amp hour battery. So we're gonna run this for about five seconds and then we'll see how much torque it takes to take that off. And then we'll do it again with the four amp hour battery. Now we'll go ahead and see how much torque is required to take off the two amp hour battery. There you can see it is 263.7 foot pounds of torque required to take off that fastener with the two amp hour battery. So we got the cobalt hooked up with the four amp hour battery. We're gonna go ahead and run this down and see just how much torque output is required with the four amp hour battery compared to the two amp hour battery. So we ran those for about an equivalent of five seconds. So now we'll go ahead and see how much torque is required to take off that fastener. Here you can see it was 293.5 foot pounds of torque required to take off that fastener with a four amp hour battery. Let's go ahead and see just how much torque output the Cobalt XTR quarter inch hex has. All right, so we ran that for roughly around five seconds. We'll go ahead and see how much torque that Cobalt XTR really has. Here we go, we had 222.7 foot-pounds. So now for tightening torque, we'll go ahead and put this to around 232 foot-pounds. So there you can see we're dialed in at 232.3 foot-pounds. And we'll go ahead and see if the Bosch Freak can remove 230 foot-pounds of torque. So you can see after a lot of work, the Bosch is able to remove 232 foot-pounds of torque applied to a fastener. So we'll go ahead and tighten this down to roughly around 234.7 foot-pounds. 
So you can see that's really, really close to what we had the Bosch Freak at. And we'll go ahead and see what the Cobalt performs at and how it handles 234 foot pounds of a Titan fastener. And you can see that the Cobalt had no problems or definitely didn't take near as long as the Bosch did. So you can see that the Cobalt Brushless Impact was able to take off 230 foot pounds with not too much of a problem. You can see that our Bosch, while it was able to do 232 foot pounds, it took a lot, lot longer. And I would say that that tool is definitely meeting and exceeding the 1800 inch pounds that Bosch claims, but the Cobalt here, that one, it's pretty amazing. We're gonna go ahead and test this to some higher levels and see how it performs. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up to, who knows, maybe around 300 foot-pounds of torque. So we're dialed in at 286.6 foot-pounds. And now we'll see if that four amp hour battery is able to remove that fastener. Wow. So you can see that the Cobalt XTR had no issues removing that fastener at 286 foot-pounds of torque. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 300 and see how the Cobalt performs. For the 300 foot-pound test, we're gonna go ahead and use a two amp hour battery and see how the Cobalt performs. We're trying to remove a fastener at 306.2 foot-pounds of torque. So we got our two amp hour battery. We'll see how the Cobalt XTR quarter inch hex impact performs. So you can see that the Cobalt XTR at 300 foot pounds was able to remove that fastener with the 28 millimeter hex socketed adapter. That's really impressive, Cobalt XTR. So guys, really interesting results when it came to looking at the Bosch GDX18V, also known as the Bosch Freak, and the Cobalt Brushless XTR. On paper and specs, both of these were able to meet and exceed those in some basic testing here. Now, you have to remember that both of these are really marketed towards your quarter inch hex, and that's how you should typically be using these. However, that Bosch does have that half inch drive on there, and well, that's really for driving some lag bolts and things. But the Cobalt can do it. It just is a little bit longer with that extension, but it has a tremendous amount of torque. In all actuality, 1,800 inch pounds, 2,400 inch pounds, 200 foot pounds, all of that is a lot of torque in a small profile. So when it comes to looking at the profile on the Bosch versus the Cobalt XTR, you can see that the Bosch is slightly shorter. And if you look at the body of the two here, you can see that they're roughly about the same length and the width is slightly slimmer on the Bosch. Now, the interesting thing here too, the Bosch one happens to be very, very slim compared to the Cobalt. And one is an 18 volt platform versus 24 volts, which means they simply slam in an extra battery in that cell. So if I was using one of these tools all day, I definitely wanna go with the smaller, slimmer, thinner, and lighter one. But if I needed more torque, Definitely gonna throw it to the cobalt right there. And so if you're using some longer extended run times, a heavier tool is definitely not the best tool for you. I think this Bosch is a really neat configuration. It does have a lot of torque to it, and believe it or not, the 2,400 inch pounds on here truly isn't needed for as much as you can do with a tool like these. I think they're pretty neat things. Depending on the price point and the battery platform, that's really where it's gonna get you. Which one is gonna be best for you? really comes down to personal preference and also that battery platform you are at when it comes to looking at power tools. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Cobalt Brushless. There's nothing wrong with the Bosch. They both perform really well, and believe it or not, even though we tested them on fasteners today, these really work well on screws and other types of fasteners. Even some of your deck lag bolts. There's lots of interesting things that you can use these for. If you don't have one of these and you're still stuck using a drill, I can tell you these impact drivers really do make life a lot more efficient and a lot more useful because they have a lot more torque than when it comes to a normal drill. And actually you can get drill bits that work in impact drivers. So at the end of the day, if there was something I was gonna be picking up, I definitely would make sure that I have an impact driver in my lineup. Really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button 
If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder. And I'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.